Yeah, you know, a lot of gear, a lot of gear passes through this room. Some of it comes, I have high expectations for some, I have no, no expectations. Some's like, yeah, well, you know, we'll see. And this is dead on the PMA 600NE stereo integrated amplifier. It was one of those, yeah, sure, why not? I'll get that. So it comes in, I open the box, and it just so happened that the day that I opened the box, I had my MagnaPan LRS, little ribbon speakers, hooked up, $650, yeah, sure, hook them up, say, you know, this little, this little Denon uh, integrated is pretty, pretty good, so this is not an easy speaker to drive, and it's doing a great job, and the weird thing is that for the first week or so that I listened to the Denon, I thought it was $599, integrated amp and I'm thinking you know this is pretty nice but wait <laughs> it's not it's actually $399 like whoa wait a minute this is $399 and it's driving these really hard to drive speakers um, yeah it does I can't say it's like the best I'm not gonna say it's as good as uh, you know my uh, past labs XA25 I'm not gonna say it's as good as uh, a first watt uh, F7, those are many thousands of dollars, but this thing for 400 bucks? Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, what was great is I was, I was spent that week listening to it thinking it was $600, and now it turns out to be $400. So it gets better. You know, when that happens, I go, yeah, this is fun. So as for the particulars, it's rated at 45 watts channel for 8 ohm loads, 70 watts channel for 4 ohms. And right away, that's unusual that a, a $400 integrated amp actually has a 4 ohm rating, but this one does. It has a phono moving magnet input, it has preamplifier outputs, it has a subwoofer output, it has three. Uh, RCA line level inputs, it has a tape loop, you don't see those two, two more, too, too much anymore. Um, it's got some, it's got bass and treble controls, I like those a lot, I like dealing with those controls because sometimes you just want a little more top or less top or more bass or less bass. So easy to do, turn a knob, ah, it's so beautiful. I think all integrated amplifiers should have at least tone controls. So here you go, 400 bucks, you got your tone controls. So it has a headphone output, 6.3 millimeter jack, thanks, I like that. And I tried it out, actually sounded pretty decent. Um, it has one coaxial digital input, two optical digital inputs. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty well appointed. Uh, I, again, for the money, it feels solid. It's, uh, I think it's kind of cool looking. Uh, the remote is nicely laid out, easy to use. Basically, um, it's all good in terms of just setting it up, using it. Oh, and it has Bluetooth, by the way. I used three, three, count of three, three speakers during the course of this review. I started with the MagnaPan LRS, little ribbon speakers, hard to drive, did a great job with that. I also used the Polk um, Legend 200 bookshelf speakers I just recently reviewed. Fantastic with that. But the, the speaker I spent the most time with was the Kef LS50. Now, you know, I've had these speakers kicking around for years, and for some reason, hooked up to a little Denon, it was really pulling me in. I love that combination. Really a remarkable speaker. How how long has it been around? It's It's not the new kid on the block anymore, but I think it looks amazing, by the way. I think that look is so uh, fresh. Even now, it's got to be like 10 years old, right? But it's still, there's nothing else like it. It's elegant. It's modern. It's just gorgeous. Oh, before I forget to mention it, I also received, but I haven't opened the box yet, the Denon DCD 600NE CD player, uh, which is $299. So it's kind of like a match set. And I will review that shortly, but uh, again, you know, CD players are getting a little hard to find, and here's a nicely, uh, <laughs> nice partner for this, and probably a lot of sort of, uh, you know, affordable systems for you guys looking for a CD player. Um, I think this might, 
This might be the one, but I haven't opened the box yet, so we'll, we'll see how that all works out. Uh, you know, one of the CDs I did play, speaking of CD, in this, over this course, was Johnny Greenwood's score for the movie There Will Be Blood. You know, this movie is basically sort of like a Western oil prospecting kind of movie set in the early 1900s, but which has a certain kind of score that you associate with that kind of movie. But Johnny Greenwood's score is not like a, <laughs> a 1960s or 70s or something Western kind of thing. No, it's violent. It's churning. It's disturbing. It's unsettling. But it's pretty much all strings. And it just has this incredible energy. Um, and the, uh, the Denon LS50 combination was communicating that uh, big time. I mean, it was, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about how powerful that score is. That movie with a more, con it's one of my favorite movies of the 21st century. That movie with a more conventional score would just was would be would be really diluted by the the loss of that Johnny Greenwood score, but to, just to hear the score on its own without the movie, it is stirring to the max, and that was really impressive. And I also watched um, I was streaming Handmaid's Tale on uh, Hulu, uh, season three, and what struck me there was just how uh, to pardon the cliche how holographic the presentations were. The, the sound was just so coherent, so huge, but clearly focused. Uh, I'm just like totally absorbed in the story, but the sound was, again, um, spine tingling <laughs> because it, was, it put you there. It did what it was supposed to do. It created an environment for the story. Uh, and again, the Denon LS50, yeah. Check ball boxes, definitely. Then to, for a change of pace, I was listening to the Beatles live at the Hollywood Bowl. Now, this is an early live recording. Rock, you know, live rock recordings from the 60s are generally, eh, not so great. But this one was, you know, remixed and tweaked uh, not that long ago, a few years ago. So it's an old recording, but some, let's say, brought up to date. And um, I played a pretty pretty loud and it was good. I mean the energy of the Beatles, the joyousness of the Beatles was again fully communicated by this pairing, the Denon LS50 combo. So you know it's one of those things, I love my job. So th while this review I came in with low expectations like oh here's a you know a, a budget price Denon integrated amp, ho oh, hum you know just another day in the office so to speak, but no I am truly excited by this thing. And the fact that it costs $399, uh, I'm going to be including that in a lot of my lists going forward because it's nice to have an integrated amp that has all these great features and sell for that very reasonable price. And probably less, you know, online and stuff. But the list price is $399. Um, I think I've done it. My name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the audio Filiac daily show and if you dig it please subscribe hit that little button right down there and when you do hit the get the bell so you're notified for every about every new episode as it comes up you can follow me on twitter at audio Filiac man uh, what else you can uh Check out the playlist here. I have playlists for speakers, speaker reviews, and headphone reviews, and music reviews, and interviews with luminaries of the audio industry, and interviews with just plain audiophile folk. I have the playlists of the, the pictures, these slideshows that I've done with big speakers and affordable speakers, all kinds of cool stuff in the playlist. Hey, if you've gotten this far, please check out my Patreon at p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash audiophiliac. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.